No, it is not just another vicious rumor. It is a Friday. And uh, welcome in. You're Carolina with Jack and your name again? Monaghan. Yeah, a downtown Greenville. We're looking at clouds. Clouds make rain and rain makes mud puddles. And that may all happen. Oh, I can sing a good, I can sing you a country song about what else rain makes. But you don't want to hear me sing, right? No, I'm sure I don't. I'm more of a 9 p.m. singer. But you're a tambourine girl. You, oh, you yeah. Well, this year, will you show up at Oh, one of our it would match my sweater so good, that blue, blue tambourine. tambourine. No, Christina, we don't need to post any video of past <laughs> musical performances. If it happened in the past, it should stay in the well, past. Well, I bought you a tambourine about yep. a year ago. And yep. you have not shown up at any of our band so gigs. And I expect you, April 1, April, first weekend in April, we would be in Pendleton. Do you remember in Malden, I went and I sat with your wife and had the best time. And then the next day you were like, you were there? Oh I missed you. I <laughs> you up on stage doing well, your thing, working the crowd. April, first weekend in first April, weekend April, I expect you okay. in Pendleton. In Pendleton. Yeah. All right, shaking the tambourine. Tell me this, uh, the Super Bowl, uh, wh what does a commercial cost? Because I've got the budgets for Trump and... Uh, Usually it's like a million Bloom bucks Bloom for... Bloomberg. She's about a million bucks for 30 seconds. They each have uh, obligated themselves, uh, Trump and Bloomberg, to 10 mil in advertising for the Super Bowl. Wow. Golly, what? Just think. You, okay. Can you imagine how much money? That, how many poor people? I know. Can That's you what feed I'm saying. And we're in the business where, like, we sell ads, obviously, not at that but level. That's just can you imagine? It just seems like the the campaigns that they spend, the amount of money. Like, just think about where that money could go and help All so many people. All the good you could do, my gosh. And uh, yeah, and there are so many needy people in this world. I know. Uh, but uh, we we like we is that on our station? I don't even the know what the Super. I don't can think we, we say have Super Bowl. We yeah. say the big that, game. Or something. You can say Super Bowl as long as we're not trying to promote something else using that as a promotion. But we're talking good. about the the game. It's called the Super Bowl. You're the allowed to say game. that. All right. Okay. Speaking of money and happiness, did you hear? And well, they it can go together. It can go together, can. and that's what this Japanese guy is trying to do to see if it really does go hand in hand. Well, okay. but ma rich, rich people are miserable too. Right, but you know how some people think, oh, if I just had money, my problems would be solved. Yeah, life could be easier for some things, but does it make you happier? So there's this Japanese billionaire. Yeah. He is giving away, it's like yen, but it turns out to be like, you know, $9 million, American dollars. Right. Okay. So $9 million, he's giving away to 1,000 people. Well, to see. If he's got to do it. Yes, no, he wants to see. It's this big social experiment. He wants to see if them having that extra money will make them happier. But, and, and they're doing that? Where are they doing that? It would they, have to be in California. No, they didn't. But they're know, giving they did away it, they, $500 a month to people in California. Oh yeah, that's, that's another random. thing. Now I'm talking about this this guy, and it like, don't worry guys, we can't, we can't win it now. He like, you had to retweet something he did and then it happened January 7th was like the last day. Four million people did this, we're hoping You're to do it. You're kidding. No, think about it. If someone said, hey, Jack, I'm going to give you a million dollars if you just retweet something, you better believe I'm hitting I'd say, let button. me get to pen, get to checkbook. Let me help you draw it. Let <laughs> me help you write it. <laughs> no, what, what do you need to do? So that would be interesting to see if it can really bring but you, you know, happiness. you and I, are, and we talk about big money, you and I yeah. are so blessed compared to so many people. Are you, you kidding I, me? I know. We got no problem. I, I know. And anytime I start to like dwell on something Gee. little, it's like, shut yeah. up. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Well, explain something to me. What is it, Harry and Meghan, that, that, what are they <laughs> doing in England? They don't want to live there? They are what is separating the from, the, from the royal family. They want to kind of have financial well, independence. He doesn't have a job. What does he do? Well, they want to get they want to get a job and they want to well, like she was uh, she actress was an actress. and made money, yeah. Yeah. They're like it's like they want so hard to be normal people. They'll never be normal. But they're trying. They're doing their best to to try. But if you'll go back and watch the Crown the yeah. series and look at the trouble Andrews in it, that is the most dysfunctional family uh, I well, think I have course. ever heard of. Yes. That whole crowd. I know. And I thought I'll, but but see, I put the fun in dysfunction. Mm -hmm. My family. Yep. See, fun. Jamarcus just called it. He said, "You joke, fun. Uh, I know, Dis like dysfunctional." Fun. Yeah. So let's bring in Jamarcus because we're because <laughs> because we're talking about. <laughs> oh, our director thinks that by separating from the royal family, he's a real man. Is that what he said, Christina? Oh. 
Here he is. Uh, I like him. I well. like him too. He flies big old helicopters. Yeah, he's and stuff. he's yeah. cool. Well, we brought in Jamarcus Gaston to help us answer our question of the day, which you can answer too. You just go to our Facebook page. Of course, it's brought to you by Sphinx. Guys, did y'all watch cartoons as a kid? Sure. And if yes. so, what sure. was your favorite? What is Tom and Jerry? Okay. Tom, Tom, and, Tom Jerry. and Jerry. I liked uh, Road Runner and I liked uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. That's probably my favorite, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Or Rescue, what is it, the Rescue Rangers? Rescue Rangers, or Power Rangers? That. No, it was the, the, the Rescue Rangers. Do y'all remember that show? No, I have a, I have a confession. <laughs> you didn't watch cartoons? Hate cartoons. Are you kidding me? I always wanted to see like real people. I didn't oh, no. I don't watch animated movies. Even as a movies. kid, I didn't. Like, you know when movies start as like real and then it goes to a cartoon, I was like, oh. Oh, no. Well, but see, when I was growing up, they used to show a cartoon before the movie. In our little theater. Down okay, I like the little Bugs Bunny thing before, yeah, like the movie. But that was like, you know, a minute. But I can I, handle that. You didn't, like, Thirty minutes. You didn't like Tom and Jerry, like on a big bowl of cereal, like in but your underwear, well, just spilling milk everywhere. The cat, let the cat, like, come on. <laughs> it's but the same I wouldn't pay it's money to see an animated movie. I wouldn't see an animated movie. Now, but. I not love like, that. you know, Toy Story and, but well, that's not, like you that. know what I mean? So I that's not like cartoony, that. that's more animation. I don't know. Like, I think I was just like a creative kid, so my mind was just always going there. Like, yeah. you know, playing in this fictional land, you Right. Know? Well, I mean, it's sweet. It's a good, fun way to grow. You know, like on Saturday mornings, you like oh, kind of yeah. ease in the day and you watch your Or cartoons. before you go to school in the morning, you're just sitting there in like a comatose, like just trying to figure out what you're going to do. And then like cartoons are on, you're eating your cereal. And you're that was just a normal day. <laughs> just like, a normal day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe that was only me. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, it definitely was not. Definitely not just you. No. <laughs> that, that was good. Well, we'd like to know. Go to yes. Facebook and let us hear I'm from trying to think sure. of the name. It, it was called Rescue Rangers, but I want to say it was like the Mighty Rescue Rangers. I don't know. I, mean, I, I, did, look it okay, up. I did like He Man. Yeah. Like, sh you Power know what I mean? Rangers. But, was it Power well, Rangers? Well, I, I know the Power Rangers, okay, but the, I was talking about the Rescue, the Rescue Rangers. Rangers. Okay. So I'm going to find the trailer and I'm going to post it. I'm going to give you a real flashback on this Friday. But, but I see, see Rocky it. and Bullwinkle, that was such an adult kind of like over the heads of a lot of kids, I thought. It this is what you need to do. Like, go watch some of the cartoons that you really liked when you were a kid and watch them now. You will catch some things. You're like, Ooh, they I put that in a let, cartoon. They let us get away with Only because we're not smart enough. We're like, oh, we, we just... were innocent. <laughs> You're innocent. Well, we had a, the first kid show I had in North Carolina yeah. before we had one here is uh, I'll, I'll never forget they'd send the cartoons to us. We'd have to run a cartoon, and they came in French. And I'm going, we, we yeah, can't have yeah, this Bugs playing. Bunny cartoon in French, for God's sake. But the, it came in the mail from France. I tried to watch a movie the other day that had, like, subtitles, because it was in, like, Spanish or something, and right. it had English subtitles. My brain hurt so it bad, like, so trying bad. to watch what's going on on the screen and read and the... Read. Well, you got two eyes. I mean, yeah, but it gets on yeah. no, one, Hopefully they go like the that. same direction, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick question. Are you looking for a new home? If so, our friend Dan Hamilton from Dan Hamilton Company at Keller Williams has some great ideas for you. Let's take a look at this new neighborhood in Simpsonville, guys. This one looks nice. It's the mm -hmm. Ivy Walk neighborhood, Simpsonville. It's new construction. There's homes from the 240s built by local builder, low maintenance, one level living. Upgraded standard features included. Give Dan a call if this neighborhood looks like something you're interested in. And we're moving over to 8 Haven Reach Way in Taylor's. This house is listed at $225,000. It sits on three quarters of an acre and gives you the floor plan you've been looking for. The one story ranch home features two master suites plus an additional bedroom that could be used as an office space. When you come to the front door, you have a great room with the vaulted ceilings that opens into the spacious kitchen and breakfast area. The kitchen features a large closet, pantry, towel floor, stainless steel appliances. Uh, the two master suites provide so much flexibility for roommates, or maybe you have that in-law suite, a guest bedroom, a teen room. The possibilities are endless. Again, this is just 15 minutes from downtown in the Cherrydale area. Don't let this one get away. Again, this is 8 Haven Re Reach Way in Taylor's, listed for $225,000. Okay, let's go to Greer, 401 Winnington Place, $325,000. It is in the Batesville Ridge subdivision and uh, the desirable Five Forks area of Greer. Now, it's professionally landscaped, beautiful flowers, and of course, a subtle landscape lighting system. It's beautiful. The front door, when you open that up, you go in, it's a room filled with sunlight, lots of, lots of windows, vaulted ceilings, and a stone-surrounded gas fireplace. You like that? The kitchen opens into the great room, and the kitchen features granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and recessed lighting. 
The dining room features early access, easy access, sorry, kitchen and uh, overlooks a backyard that is just beautiful with floor to ceiling windows. A flex room that can be used as a formal living room, a dining room, a home office or den. Plus a year round sunroom, that'll be fun. The master suite features a double sink uh, bathroom and of course a hall bath for the other two bedrooms upstairs. Upstairs you'll find a large bonus room too. That is 325000 and that is in Greer. That is of course Winnington Place. All right. MyGrableHome.com where you can right. find all those. Paula Church standing by with a little critter over there yeah. and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Furry Friend Friday and she has big news for us. She does. She's been busy this week. Plus, it's one of the sweetest events of the year and it's all for you daddies. It's the Daddy Daughter Dance. We're going to tell you when and how you can get your tickets. And getting healthy in the new year, we all want to do it. Mia Sin is here with some options to keep us on track. Stick around for more Your Carolina. Furnishings for Your Carolina are provided by Jeff Lynch. Appliances, electronics, bedding, furniture.